Good morning, students. Let us start with the first chapter of electrostatics, which is electric charges. Before going to the main topic, let us discuss about the atomic structure. An atom consists of the central nucleus. This is the central nucleus, and the electron is revolving around the nucleus. Now, nucleus contains proton, which is positively charged. Neutron is neutral and electron is negatively charged. Conservation of charge. The charge of an isolated system of bodies remains constant. What does it mean? It means that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can be transferred from one body to the other. But the total charge of the system remains constant. So this is the conservation of charge. Quantization of charge. If Q is a charge on our body, then Q is equal to plus minus N E. What is E? E is the electronic charge. And N is the any whole number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But N is not the fraction or the decimal. Because the, according to the conservation of charge, we know that the charge on our body is an integral multiple of electronic charge. Integral multiple means n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But not the decimal or the fraction. Now comes to the Coulomb's law. It states that the force of attraction between the charges or the force of repulsion between the charges is proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. I am repeating, suppose there are two charges Q1 and Q2, Q1 and Q2, they are separated by a distance R and these two charges are placed in air or in any other medium. Then the force between these two charges is equal to the K times Q1, Q2 by R square. What is K? K is called the dielectric constant. It's called the dielectric constant K. Now the value of K is equal to 1 for air, K greater than 1 for metals, K equals 81 for water and K is equal to infinity for metal. And its formula is K equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Now what is epsilon or epsilon 0? Epsilon is called the permittivity of medium and Epsilon 0 is the, called the permittivity of free space air or vacuum and permittivity of free space is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 Coulomb square per Newton per meter square. Now come to the next part Coulomb's law in vector form. According to Coulomb's law, the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges separated by distance r is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square. Now, the force is acting along r, so it can give the unit vector if I write the vector f. So, vector f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square. Unit vector. Now, unit vector is equal to the vector r divided by its magnitude. So, we just replace it and we write a vector f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r cube vector r. Right. And, and one more thing is that 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9. SI unit. So whenever you do the numerical based on Coulomb's law, we replace 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 SI unit. Now comes to the next part which is based on numerical. If the distance between two point charges is halved, and 
their individual charge is doubled, what would be the force? According to Coulomb's law, we know that F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q1, Q2 by R square. Now the charges are same. So we write Q1 equals Q2 equals Q. We put it here. Here we will get Q squared by R squared. Now new force. Now the charges have been changed. The charge becomes double and the distance is halved. So we can say that F prime is equal to means the new force is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 2 Q whole square by R by 2 whole square equals 16. 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q square by r square. So 16f. So f prime becomes 16 times the original force. So the next numerical is based on the Coulomb's law again. It came in IAC. Two point charges plus 9e e and e are placed at a distance of 16 centimeter from each other. At what point between those charges a third charge Q be placed so that it remains in equilibrium? So it says that there are two charges 9E and E separated by a distance of 16 centimeter. And you have to place a certain charge Q in between the charges so that the net force on Q due to charge 9E and E is 0. So let us start by placing Q at a distance of X from the point A, means from the point charge 9, which is placed at A. So force on charge Q, means force on charge Q due to 9E is equal to F1 equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q1, Q2, means 9E and Q, by x square, what is the distance between the charge 9e and q? It is x, so I have written x, not r square. Force on charge q due to e. Now, force on charge q due to e is 16 minus x, means this distance. So, 16 minus x whole square. So, net force in equilibrium, the net force is 0. So, f1 minus f2 equals 0. So, f1 equals f2. Now, we substitute the values of F1 and F2. So, after putting, we are getting this. So, we are cancelling electronic charge E 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. After the calculations, we are getting 9 by x square equals 1 by 16 minus x square. Whole square. Now, remove the square. Means, square rooting both sides. We are getting 3 by x equals 1 by 16 minus x. Now, do the transpositions and cross multiplications and you will get the value of x as 12 cm. Means, the charge Q is placed at a distance of 12 cm from the charge 9E. This would be the answer.